Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do things a little differently. Recently on Facebook, I posted a status saying, what are the most annoying things about those dating apps? Grinder, Scruff, etc, etc. And let me tell you guys, did I get comments? So I figured what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through some of the comments just to kind of break down the apps and put it more into perspective and to show people how to have some kind of common courtesy on the apps. Are you Jen? And for those who don't know, Jen is an abbreviation for generous. Um, I don't agree with younger people or anyone asking someone if they're generous. I think it's really rude and disrespectful to ask someone that. I think everyone should treat everyone with kindness and just be nice. However, Though I don't condone it, for the people that are being asked if you're generous, maybe look a picture. Your, look upon your pictures. What kind of pictures are you posting? Are you posting pictures with you in a nice car? Are you posting you with a wine glass and a really nice outfit? Make sure you're not posting pictures that make you represent you in a way that makes people assume that you might be generous. <laughs> and pictures sent to you automatically without saying hello. Like, when you look at the apps, guys, the apps are going to be used for however someone wants to use the app for. If the person's looking for it for sex, then they're going to personally be out there looking for that, and they're going to do things that are going to bring them what they want. If you're out there looking for friendships, then you're going to be doing things out there that will be looking for friendships. If you're out there looking for love, then you're out there looking for love. But you have to remind yourself and remember that everyone's using the app for different things. Though the app might be based on a sex app or whatever it is, at the end of the day, it has on it relationships, it has friends, it has all these things, meaning they can be used for multiple different reasons. It doesn't have to just be sex. And I think we forget that the apps are used for that primarily because we're men. And as men, we want to, naturally, we're horny as fuck all the time. Sorry, excuse my French. We're horny and we're, we are designed to plant our seed everywhere with anyone. So that's kind of, just how things kind of are, and you just have to accept it. I get the whole thing with the grinder and the taps, why people don't like taps. I like taps because when I go through my profile and I'm looking through people, I tap people, and then I keep scrolling, and I tap whoever I like, and then I go back to my taps, and then I'll say hi to everyone. So I don't see why everyone doesn't like taps. Maybe some people aren't as um, forward going and they're not as, as friendly or wanting to be like, Hey, how are you? How's it going? They're nervous or shy, whatever it is. Maybe the taps is be like, Hmm, see, do you like me back too? Am I your type? If not, then I didn't waste my time messaging you. You have no picture whatsoever on your profile. None. Zero. Zip. None. Not one profile picture at all and then you comment on me and you're talking to me and then you ask me to send you more pictures when you can already see three pictures on my profile like no you're not getting more pictures send me pictures of you first and don't tell me you don't have any because it's 2020 guys like seriously if you don't have a clear picture that's not pixelated and not so close up that i'm literally looking at your eyeball or your We got a problem. And everyone's phone works nowadays. Like, there's no phone that doesn't have a front facing camera or a rear facing camera where anyone can take a selfie. <laughs> Get rid of the apps and they should be like it was in the old days. I disagree. I disagree because nowadays it is really hard to meet someone out and about in real world where you just bump into them and it's like, oh my god, you're at the grocery store. And being gay, not all guys are so forthcoming to tell you that they're gay. Or to make it noticeable that they're gay. Or maybe they just don't show themselves out that way in public. Um, now, some people are aggressive and they're very up straightforward so they can be that way in public. And they can kind of get that guidance right away in the grocery store or at the store, at the mall, wherever they're at. But that doesn't always happen organically. And the chances of that happen are like one in a million. Like, I remember when I was younger before the apps... It was rare that I bumped into another gay guy that I knew for a fact he was gay. So, I mean, if you want to go back to the whole never meeting anyone for a long time and then finally finding someone, great. But everyone else is going to be on the apps finding a guy when they want a guy. So it'll kind of put you at a disadvantage and you'll really just end up missing out a lot. 
So I don't agree with the apps at the same time, but at the same time, it's like, if you're not on them, then it's either like join it or don't join it. But if you don't join it, then you're out of the wagon. And if you do join it, you're still out of the wagon. It's kind of like a win-win situation, but you have better odds being on the apps than you don't have being on the apps, in my opinion. <laughs>